All right, here we go, everybody. It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber back at it again, guys, with another action figure review. And today we have a special one for you. We have probably one of the best, most beautifully designed action figures of pretty much of all time. And of course, right here, as you can see, this is from Spawn the Dark Ages, and we have the beautiful, the beautiful, the amazing Mandarin Spawn, guys. If you guys don't have this in your collection, you need to get this guy in your collection. He is just monumental, superb, and I'm already saying all this stuff without actually taking him out the package and reviewing him. But... This is an unboxing channel. This is an unpackaging channel. And I am going to take this guy out the package and I am going to review him for you today. So it is a special, a special edition for this Mandarin Spawn right here. Uh, it's a special, special edition for your friendly neighborhood YouTuber, YouTuber should I say. Now, I've had this guy in my possession for a while. I've been looking for the right time to take him out the package and review him. And you know what? I think this is going to be a really, really, really awesome episode because just looking at this guy is just absolutely amazing. Uh, blades connect to, to make 12 inch weapon. He has some amazing looking blades on him. I'm guessing this is the, the blade right here that connects to make a 12 inch blade. There's the swords that he has, and there's his amazing shield. And when we get this guy out of the package and review him, we're also going to do a little comparison of Samurai Spawn over here, another kind of Asian Oriental uh, Spawn figure to do a little comparison, I guess. Uh, one of my also one of my other favorites, uh, one of my other favorite Spawn figures ever. Amazing, amazing detail. If you guys didn't see a review of that, check it out. So, guys, are you guys ready? Are you guys ready to review an awesome, awesome, awesome action figure? I almost hate to open this guy up, guys, because he is just monumental, superb, beauty, beautifulness, awesomeness. Uh, everything about him is just awesome. So, on the back here, we have some of the other figures, uh, McFarlane figures, and then here are some other figures from this series. And this is from all the way from 1999. It says, this master bladed, this master of bladed weapons from an ancient feudal society? The Scarlet Edge was brutally slain during the war against the against the army of the dead enraged by his own death he and is commissioned to earth he has been commissioned to earth to seek his revenge now mask and mystery this war warrior has taken the name mandarin spawn thank you for sitting through <laughs> my horrible reading skills guys and yeah he is beautifully packaged i really really hate to open this figure but he's gonna have to come out because he just looks truly truly amazing okay so here we go guys without further ado we're gonna go ahead and pop this mandarin spawn out the box let's see uh, okay here we go here we go here we go It pains me. It really, really pains me to open this figure. But sometimes you do what you gotta do. It has to be done. So, he just has one little twisty tie right here, guys. So, bear with me. And then we'll get this guy out the package for you. Okay. So, there is Mandarin Spawn. Let's take him out. Nice, nice, nice. And here's a little booklet. I don't know if you guys want to see this booklet. Let me take this booklet out, see what this is about. And yeah, it's pretty much just advertising the other figures from this uh, wave from Series 14. 
uh, Spawn the Blackheart, and then all the other figures, which are look, look really, really decent. Actually, I have a few figures from this wave uh, that I have yet to review for you guys. So, stay tuned for that. This is a pretty awesome uh, series uh, from 1999. And let's take out some of his weapons here. Man, look at this, dude. Just look at the detail. Jeez, jeez, oh Pete. Here are the swords. Beautiful freaking swords. Lightweight. They're delicate because they're they are McFarlane, so you have to be careful with that. Beautiful, beautiful weapons, man. And yeah, they both come slipped out. They both come slipped out. <laughs> I can't even freaking speak, dude. <laughs> they both come slipped out. That's what she said. Uh, okay, so let's take out this. It looks like maybe a tusk. Could be from a mastodon. Or maybe a mammoth. I think they're the same thing. Aren't they, are they the same thing? Mastodon and mammoth? No. Very beautiful detail with this tusk. Let's take out this huge freaking sword. Oh my god. This thing is just... Look at this. Look at this freaking... Damn, this thing is freaking here. You can use it as one sword. One big freaking sword. Look at that, man. Or you could attach it and then make a big 12-inch blade. Be very delicate with this because, like I said, there it's known for breaking. Look at that, it's so freaking big I can't even get it in to my camera. Wow. Awesome, awesome figure already. So let's take out his shield here. Pops out very nicely, very nicely lightweight, and the detail on this shield is just absolutely superb, man. Jeez. This is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it's very lightweight, but the detail on this is just immaculate. Man, I would love to paint a picture like this. This is just absolutely beautiful. As you guys know, I work as an artist, and I definitely would love to paint something like this. This is really, really awesome. The shield is just absolutely amazing. Okay, so let's look, take a closer look at the figure himself. Try to get this out if I can. Now, one thing you guys have to remember is that this figure is from 1999. So if you guys are watching this review, it is 2019. So that means that this figure is 20 years old. 20 years old, guys, and it is still as beautiful as the day that it was sculpted. Zoom in. Zoom in, character. Zoom in. Look at the beautiful detail, man. Jeez. Let's try to get a little bit closer over here. Put in some better light, as if it's not in better light. And it's just absolutely... Superb, man. Get you guys a better close-up of this figure. Absolutely beautiful. Let me try to put the camera up just a little bit. This is what collecting action figures is all about. This is just absolutely stunning. The detail on this figure is just absolutely immaculate, man. He kind of has like a, a alien vibe going on him, doesn't he? Let's be careful with the arms. Nothing breaks on me. His arms do swivel. Arms do go up and down. I'm going to be very, very careful with this figure because I don't want it breaking on me. Arms do bend. Here is the rest of Mandarin Spawn. Look at that, man. Look at the kneecaps. Look at the feet. <laughs> this. Just everything about it 
is on point, guys. Uh, knees, there is no knee bend, believe it or not. Um, his legs can, they are articulated, so they can move back and forth. I don't even think he needs a freaking knee bend, to be honest with you, man. Just the detail on this Mandarin spawn is just absolutely magnificent. There's the feet. This is kind of like the holy grail of action figures, man. Not only the holy grail of spawn figures, but the holy grail of action figures. I mean, this is why we collect, is to have figures like this. And it's just absolutely beautiful. Look at the detail on the chest. The detail on the face. I love these little masks. The little white mask that he has all over his body. It's really, really awesome. The face is just absolutely beautiful. I mean, that is a Mandarin spawn. I wonder why they didn't give him green eyes. They gave him yellow eyes instead. And yet they gave him the green eyes down here, kind of like... He has a dragon wearing dragon armor chest, you know what I mean? A dragon dragon chest armor, that's what I meant to say. But this piece is just an absolute masterpiece, man. There's the back of it, there's his feet. Everything about this figure is absolutely stunning. Okay, guys, let's try to... Here's his uh, shield, so it clips onto his arm. Like so. And it clips on very nicely. Look at that, man. Jeez. As if this figure couldn't get any more detailed as is. Look at that, dude. Jeez, man. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, let's move his arm up here. And... I'm guessing this tusk thing goes into this right here to the back of him. So it just kind of plugs into this right here, I think. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. It has to plug into there, so hold on one minute. Let me take him off camera. Yeah, it kind of plugs into there. I don't want to be forceful, but it kind of plugs into there like so. Because I don't want to break off anything. And then his two swords right here, they should plug into his waist. To see the waist right there, let me move up his arm. Move up his arm, and then this kind of pegs into there like so. Whoops. It's weird how they designed this. Hold on one minute, guys. Yeah, it's weird how they designed that because... Like so. I guess that's how it goes. That's how it pegs in, so... But you can't really put the arm down. And it doesn't really swivel. That's really weird how they designed it. Let's put his 12-inch blade into his hand, into his paw. <laughs> and yeah, he holds it very nicely, guys. Wow. 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 Yeah, he's definitely one of the most sought-after spawn figures, and I can see why. He's definitely in the top five of one of the best spawn figures ever. The detail on this figure is just absolutely immaculate, man. I'm really, really, really pleased I have this figure. I'm really, really blessed to have this figure. I don't say that too often either. He is just absolutely stunning, man. Let's do a little rotation, move him back a little bit. Then I'll do a little rotation of Mandarin Spawn. It'd be nice if they gave the blade a little bit more tarnish, you know what I mean? A little bit more detail. But I I am not complaining, dude. Not complaining at all. I, I love this touch right here that they gave him. This tusk. 
for his shoulder. This guy is right here is a work of art, a true, true, true work of art. I mean, it just doesn't get any better than this. Let me get my camera and I'll zoom in for you guys so you guys can get a better look. For some reason, it has a hard time zooming on his face. Absolutely stunning. Stunning, stunning. And the gold that they gave him. Imagine if they made this figure out of gold. Like real gold and gemstones. And real jade. Green jade. Imagine imagine how much this figure would cost. But to me, it is, it is absolutely priceless. And it's going to go very, very beautifully on display. On my toy shelf with my other spawn figures. Okay, guys. Um... Okay, I'm kind of, let's get through with the drooling here. I'm trying to put my camera up. And I'm going to bring in Samurai Spawn. One of my other favorite uh, Spawn figures. Here is Samurai Spawn. And yeah, it measures up very well. And if you guys didn't see a review of the Samurai Spawn, check it out. Very awesome uh, Samurai Spawn. I did a lot of close-up detail. Uh, Close-up camera work of all the detail of this figure. He comes off a little bit dark, especially standing next to Mandarin Spawn because <laughs> Mandarin Spawn is has a lot of bright, bright colors, and Samurai Sp Spawn has a lot of dark colors. And as you can see, if you get up close, you can see, you know, because he's not really in the light that much. But if you get get up close, you can see the details of this Samurai Spawn. But if you guys didn't see a review of that Samurai Spawn, check it out. But this Mandarin Spawn is absolutely amazing. This right here, guys, is probably, as of right now, one of the best action figures I own in my action figure collection. I can say that with a straight face. I mean, I'm thinking, as of right now, what are my other action figures that are better than this one? I can't even think. You know, as far as Spawn figures goes, you know, I still have a fondness for my Saigor too. If you guys are familiar with Spawn. But this guy is absolutely breathtaking. Breathtaking, breathtaking. He's going to be... When you put this guy on your shelf, he's just going to highlight everything around him. And and this is, this is what everybody's going to be paying attention to on your shelf. You know what I mean? Nobody's going to be paying attention to the other figures on your shelf. This guy is just absolutely superb. Superb. I can't stop drooling over this figure, guys. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to go ahead and rate this figure. I think you guys already know what the hell I'm going to give this figure, man. This figure is a solid, solid 10. Um, I can't give it anything lower, I nor do I want to. I wish I could give it something a little bit higher, you know. I mean... On a scale from 1 to 10, I'd probably give it 11. That's how awesome this figure is. And I don't say that about too many figures that I review, guys. But this guy is just absolutely superb. Everything about him is on point. The only thing that I dis dislike is there should be a little bit more weathering on these blades. But I could probably weather it myself if I wanted to. But the, sh <laughs> the blades are freaking huge, man. They are freaking huge. Actually, you know what? Let me see. Being that his wrist swivel, I can get it to turn. So I can get him to turn like that, or like this, or like that. Either way, he's freaking, freaking awesome, man. A solid 10 for this uh, spawn, and a solid 10 for this shield. True, true works of art, man, in plastic. And this is a lightweight uh, shield, too. you think it'll, it would be heavy... Just by the way it looks, because it looks heavy, but it's actually very, very lightweight. And the figure is actually has a nice weight to him. It's not He's not heavy, but he's not lightweight either. The most of his weight is actually coming from his legs, his leg areas, his, his legs and his uh, feet area. That's a really, really cool thing that they gave him right here, these feet. It kind of looks like a... Yeah, like a dinosaur. Not like a dinosaur, like a dragon. That's pretty much why the, I, I just thought of that right now. It's a dragon because he has a dragon look and a dragon vibe, you know, because dragons are so, you know, huge in uh, Asian culture. 
And yeah, I can see why they gave him the dragon feet and the dragon legs. That's actually a really, really awesome touch. You know, one thing about uh, McFarlane figures, Spawn figures, is, you know, when you look at them, you don't really get it until, you know, maybe, what am I, 20 minutes into this freaking video? And then, oh, yeah, okay, I see what he did there. It was a similar thing if you guys saw I reviewed, Sp uh, I think it was Spellcaster. <laughs> it took me a while that there was a dragon coming out of the body of that person and his foot was his tail and his shoulder was his dragon and he had wings and come to find out that they were sharing uh, a dragon body. <laughs> so, yeah, it takes me a minute, guys, to to uh, to actually know what the hell's going on as I'm reviewing the figure. Because, like I said, this is my first time actually reviewing this Mandarin Spawn and taking him out the box and actually reviewing him and seeing him with my eyes for the first time. The head, did I show you guys the head articulation, head swivel? I mean, that's pretty much all he needs. But he will go beautifully, beautifully on display. We'll take another close look at this Mandarin Spawn. I love this right here, man. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful detail. Kneecaps, everything about this figure is flawless and on point. Okay, guys. All right, I already spent like 21 minutes drooling over this figure. Um, so, if you guys like this review, hit the like button. Uh, comments. Let me know what you think of this figure. Do you think he's awesome? If you don't, you're dumb. <laughs> you're stupid. If you don't like this figure, what's wrong with you? Uh, if you like this review, hit that notification bell to receive more cool, awesome reviews like this. And there you guys have it. From all the way from 1999, guys. 1999. That's 20 years ago. This would probably be the 20th anniversary of Mandarin Spawn. Uh, from the Dark Ages. Um, there you guys have it. Nothing more to say, man, than I what I already said. So there you go. Mandarin Spawn from 1999 McFarlane Toys. Just want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye!